good, family? Hey, what's going on? What's up with it? Okay, it is February the 26th. It's a little after 11 a.m. And I am coming on to do this video for my girl, no other than Miss Sierra. Now, if this ain't your shit, and you ain't down with the whole program, and you got a problem and feeling it with your way, then I'm going to ask that you go head on and get up out of this motherfucker. Because it ain't for you today. Uh, Wallace, go on and show this motherfucker which way the exit is. Because we got some other shit going on. And I need to holler at my girl for a minute. Okay? So go on, Yeah, let that bitch out. Excuse me. Yeah, let her go. Because she can't handle this on today. Bitch. Um, go. Uh, goodbye, bitch. Yeah. Anyway. Sierra. Girl. Now look. <clears throat> I simply adore you. I think that you are one of the most gorgeous uh, young ladies in the game. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on your side. How about that? Let's just start it off with, with let's just take it to the motherfucking bridge. I am on your side. And let me also say this, and let me get this shit out of the way before we get to talk about some other things. You are not responsible for this motherfucking's emotions. You ain't responsible for that shit. Okay, you and you ain't responsible nor is it any of your business on how this niggas over here feeling. Okay, that ain't got shit to do with you. Your responsibility lies with being a mother and putting your son in the best possible situations for him to excel. That is your business. How his daddy feel about things? Uh, excuse me, nigga. Uh, uh girl, look. Now, I'm, I'm one of the ones that went back all the way to goodies, and I, all that. I'm one of your motherfucking partners. You just didn't ever know it. You know what I'm saying? That was my shit. And I, I don't need me a basketball player. All I need is somebody that's down for me. That's my shit. Do you understand me? That's my shit. Sierra, that is my shit. I think everybody was rolling with that shit. Everybody, nigga, everybody loved that shit, girl. Listen, everybody was loving that shit. And with that, that just brought me like, you know what? This is like my little sister. I just adored you for so long. And to see all these motherfuckers, Wendy and everybody gotten some shit to say, Oh, my God. If y'all don't back the fuck up off my girl right now, like, for real, back the fuck up off my girl right now because I ain't going to go for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them motherfucking ones that is very outspoken. I don't bite my tongue, but I don't condone no wrongdoing. And God damn it. Look, check this out. Oh, boy. Listen. Okay. Future, I don't know his name. I don't want to disrespect the man or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But James Evans, if you don't knock it off right now, because from what these motherfuckers are saying, you already got four or five motherfucking kids, baby mamas and all. Nigga, your shit is already twisted up in the game. But yet and still, you getting mad because she decides... That she want to go a different route and be with a man that has a stable job, a career. Not saying that your shit is lukewarm, because that's not for me to say. I don't follow hip-hop all the way like that. I don't even know what your get-down is or how you roll. All I know is, when I first seen the picture, I was like, this nigga on one of these. I was like, okay, this nigga look like James Evans by the nose and shit. You know what I mean? Now, that ain't discrediting the fact that I'm, your sex game got to be bombed. Because for you to have all these chicks, all these babies, and all this kind of shit, nigga, you hung and I ain't mad at none of that kind of shit. You know what I mean? I'm not mad at that shit. I'm not mad at it. But, and then I'm looking at my girl, Sierra, and, you know, she's been, you know, clean cut for a minute. You know what I'm saying? She's been clean with it. You know, and, you know, she was one of them ones that was, um, she ain't one of them work, 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 work. She ain't one of them. You know what I'm saying? Though she can do it like no other, but she ain't one of them. So, and I'm like, oh my God, I love her like I love Fantasia. And it's like, you know what, wait a minute, hold on. If y'all motherfuckers don't get up off my partner right now, real shit. Because is it the fact that you're mad, the fact that, She's now with somebody that looks totally the opposite of you. I'm not saying that you're ugly, man, but respectfully, this motherfucker that she fucking with, though, oh, my God, on a whole different motherfucking level. 
this nigga's fine as fuck. I, I'm, I'm going to talk to Sierra about that shit in a few more minutes. But, I mean, I can understand that when, you know, you break up with somebody and then these motherfuckers done got upgraded and, and now here she got a man with a career. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that your shit is not, but there's a lot of motherfuckers. only a handful of T.I.'s and, and O'Shea's and motherfucking Ice T's and motherfucking, uh, 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 what's his masterpiece? And it's only a handful of them motherfuckers, okay? That's really, you know, taking this shit over to another level on some LL type shit. And it's only a, a certain motherfuckers that's able to be on some ludicrous, we on some, uh, you know, fast cars driving type shit. Ain't too many motherfuckers taking it over to that level. So in this genre of hip hop, it seemed like, you know what? Nigga, um, we're gonna have some fun while the getting is good, and uh, ain't no fun if the homie can't have none, and we're gonna do it like that. And then when our shit fizzle out, nigga, we're gonna be on some twisted shit in a minute, you know what I mean? So it's like you can't be mad that she decided to allow her heart to take a chance with a man that has a career going on, and then this man is handsome as fuck. He's respecting her values. And actually, you should commend this motherfucker for putting your son in the best of light. He don't have your son out there on some bullshit. No, he's taking your son out to baseball fields and football fields and games and you're taking him on vacations and things of that nature. That, I mean, hell, she's a package deal. As the father... Of you guys a son, wouldn't you want your son in the best of light any motherfucking way? Or is it just the fact that he or she's with a motherfucker that's looking like this, got this right here going on, got a respectable job, and you mad? For real? Because if anything, now if, if they have pictures and shit circulating with you with your other children and you on some Santa Claus, you know what I'm saying, you on some trick or treat, you hiding Easter eggs for the hunt and all this shit with the other kids that you got and you've been a stand-up dad. I'm not saying that you're not, but they're not showing all that. But they all showing this tiff between you and Sierra and it's like you mad and going back and forth because, you know, she got this motherfucker right here. Nigga, sit down right now, dog. Sit down, nigga. Nigga, sit down. Because the only motherfucker that's going to roll with your shit is the niggas that's doing what you doing. You know, that's that, that that's rolling how you rolling. Waka Flocka and, and this other motherfucker right here with the eye pulled out. What's that motherfucker name? Him and Masika going through some bullshit. These motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But real shit, if, if, the, if the tables was turned and you had a daughter, okay, what type of woman would you want to bring around your daughter? You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm seeing now a lot of niggas is walking around with babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, they little trinkets and shit. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? They accessories. You know, here's my son. Here's my daughter and shit like that. You know, motherfuckers want to make sure TMZ get those pictures, you know. But it's like, these are babies. These are, they're, they're innocents, you know. And so, it's not a game. And so, to see your ex with a man that's not putting your son in compromised situations, nor is he putting she. I don't understand why should there be any tiff or why should there be any anger or resentment or whatever for that. I'm not understanding that. Now, I'm done, brother. You know what I'm saying? Your clique, your crew, your homeboys, all of them, them the only ones can really agree with that. But from a seasoned vet, a mother of three, Okay, I don't see a motherfucking thing she got going on that's wrong. In my in my eyes, and I'm certain to a lot of other women. So now we're done talking about you, sir. It's fine if you stick around for a little bit. It's okay. But now I want to get back and talk to my sister, can I? Okay, excuse me. Sierra, any man that come into your life, baby, it is considered as a package deal. When it comes down to me, it's me plus three. You know what I'm saying? It's you plus one, baby. And any man that you fuck with, he has to accept the fact that you are a mother and a mother to an infant, to a baby, okay? So then therefore, and to see this man taking you, doing this, y'all niggas on the islands, y'all niggas doing this, y'all motherfuckers is on the field or the Dodger Stadium, nigga, ain't nobody there but the lights on. You know what I mean? He got that type of pull and got that type of shit going on to where he can present all this to you and your son. Don't be no motherfucking fool and not allow these motherfuckers that's mad and these motherfuckers that really want to get on to that level. Fuck what you got going on up. 
Okay? Now, you put it out there that you wanted to have a little, you know, abstain from this and that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you doing it, though. Because, nigga, uh, check this out. We're going to have to get, get a little fellatio on the game or something. We're going to have to do something, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a sexy motherfucker. And for him to roll with that and for him to respect you and love you enough to abide by that shit right there that, that you put out, girl, you got to keep it right now. It's a whole bunch of bitches right now wishing you just say, you know what, I want that nigga to say, fuck it. I want him to say, you know what, fuck all this. I don't want to fight these motherfuckers in hip-hop. Uh, TMZ, y'all motherfuckers, y'all won. Wendy, how you doing? Yeah, it's bitches waiting on him to say, I can't deal with this no more. I'm cool. But from a seasoned vet mama, you got that right there. He loves you. It's clearly, it's obvious. He don't give a fuck about what nobody say, what nobody putting out. He putting the motherfucking pictures out. You know what I'm saying? He got that jersey and them hats for y'all to put on and have y'all shit right here. He the one holding your son's hand. He's the one that's holding your son and rock about baby in and all this old type of shit. He's the one that's going to teach him how to ride this bike. Don't fuck that up because these motherfuckers right here is wanting what you got going on. You are a beautiful motherfucking sister. Whether you ever cut another motherfucker and I, Goody, or any of that motherfucking shit. Because your matrix is cold. Everybody know that you one of the coldest in the game. I love me some Beyonce just like I love you and Fantasia. But all of you guys got your own separate things that you guys do. Okay, and when it come down to that motherfucking dancing and shit, baby, you got that shit on so motherfucking lock. You got everybody mesmerized around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They can't. Who who gonna be able to do that? When it come to my girl Fantasia, who gonna feel what she's feel when she's conveying how she's doing what she's doing? You know what I'm saying? Who else can really get that? You know, Beyonce coming out with a whole motherfucking production on that ass. Who can do that? But who can do what you do? You know what I'm saying? And you are well respected for what it is that you bring to the game. I'm not finna come on this motherfucker like Wendy and I. Oh, when well, you ain't doing this and your shit is, you know what I'm saying? This right here and this right here. No, fuck all that. Okay? Right now, baby, you are in a relationship with a man that loves you. Wherever it go to, hey, look. I am, Father God, I ask that you bless their union further, Father God. This is a beautiful lady. She has a son. And she has a well kept, well-polished, well-respected man in her life? Who would want that? Who should be mad at that? But somebody that's a little jelly, you know what I'm saying? A Morton motherfucker. A salty-ass bitch. Them the only ones that's gonna have a problem with that. But a woman that takes care of her children? Hell yeah, a motherfucker come through and he's taking my son to the games and he got my baby out on the field and he doing all this right here and I got a son? This motherfucker right here got a career. Assimilation and association works hand in hand. You are putting your son in situations that are, you know, can't do nothing but nurture his growth. Who could be mad at that? Who can be really mad at that, Sierra? Don't allow these motherfuckers to talk you off your shit. Fuck what your records, your record sales and all that shit going. You got a little bit of coin, mama. Shit. Hey, look, check this out. As I done told Amber, China, and everybody else, Tashina, my girls, everybody. Get your ass in some shit that you can afford. To whereas when you get my age, 44 years old, baby. Can't no motherfucker tell me what I can and can't do. I, I better be home and I do this right here. What? Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? When you get in your 40s and you ready to let the good times roll and you ready to kick it and all this kind of old shit and your son is able to call you and tell you, Mama, uh, this right here. You know what I mean? Girl, look, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun in this category right here. Baby, get you some shit you can afford. You've been in Cali for a minute now. You know all around these parts, baby. I'll be up in Chino, Chino Hills, some motherfucking where with me. A badass motherfucking spot. Some shit to the side to where some shit ever go haywire. I don't make it to Seattle or whatever. That this shit don't, you know what I'm saying, go kapooey or whatever. You still got a place to go to for you and your son. Right now, you're getting your little money from old boy. Right now, his record sales and shit, you know what I'm saying? This, all this talk right here making making this nigga money, which is in turn still making you a little coin on the side too. 
Take that right there. Get you a place for you and your son where y'all niggas can dwell for the rest of your lives. Where you can leave some legacy behind. We ain't tripping on these album sales and shit right now. You got other shit going on. You a mother right now. You doing your mama thing. You doing girlfriend thing. And all this other shit right here. If old boy ain't mad at it and he ain't got no problem with putting you on this jet right here and doing this right here. Who gives a fuck about what somebody else talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you the truth and I ain't got no reason to lie to you. These bitches is mad. These niggas, them niggas is partnering with that nigga because they got their own set of child support cases and shit going on. The men that's mad at that shit, nigga, uh, okay, well, where are your motherfucking pictures at when you have your visitation? Where's your pictures at when you on some Chuck E. Cheese shit? Where's your pictures at when you got your son out here and y'all motherfuckers is out here throwing balls around and, you know what I'm saying, and you on some old bozo the clown shit at the, at the, at the party with the nose and the boots and, the, and all this bullshit on you know what I'm saying? I mean, because really, you know, would there really be anything to say? You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. Girl, look, I'm on your side. I'm rolling with you. I don't see a damn thing that you got going on wrong. If anything, make sure you got some shit to the side so when all, all shit, all else fails, excuse me, you have a place that you can go to to say, you know what, check this out. This is mine right here. This is my tilt. All this right here. Nigga, I fixed the bathroom how I wanted to. All this is right here. This is me. Keep your car in your motherfucking driveway. Cut your goddamn intelligent home on. And go on down in Seattle. And hang with old boy and let the good times motherfucking roll. When you, when, when, when y'all going through y'all little thing and you feel as though you need a little break. Hey, I'm going back home. You already know where I stay at. You know the code. You know what I mean? That's it. That's it. For the rest of your life, mama, make it comfortable for you and your baby because that's all that matters at this point in time. If your mama ain't cutting you, cutting, cutting you to the white motherfucking meat and chewing your motherfucking head out and taking chunks out, then I wouldn't be tripping. If if your pastor ain't tripping with you and all this other kind of stuff on what you got going on, who the hell, who gives a fuck? Girl, well, I tell you what, if you need some real shit, you need somebody to come and, and shoot you to 100 Okay, for free, come holler at your partner. Come get what you need when you need it. I'm here, baby. I'm here, and I'm here to listen. I don't want a motherfucking thing from you. I done laid, I done laid my bricks down for my foundations. You know what I'm saying? Look like I'm sitting on a two feet slab. You know, so I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? And footing and deck, uh, all that. Yeah. So the near for mama get you to a place to where it's when you get in your forties, baby. Your son. He got his cell phone. He called him, mama, this right here, what's happening, this right here. All this is you. You allowed all them child support payments and all that other shit to pay this motherfucking house off over here for me and my son. So then, therefore, you can leave your son some legacy. Because right now, his pops is making money. You know what I'm saying? You don't really need that dough really too tough because you're with a man that's, that's putting it out there that he's taking care of you and your son. So what you doing with your extra coin? You don't need no extra purses. You know what I'm saying? You don't got all that. Put, throw that shit in the house on, in, over there in Chino Hills to whereas you can go and uh, you got a car that's uh, paid for and they say, that, that motherfucker right there is in the garage. You can go in there, lights and shit on, get you some solar panels and shit. You know what I'm saying? I always go solar. That way you ain't got to ever worry about no motherfucking bill and all that other shit. The shit's gonna cut on. You ain't got to worry about this high-ass maintenance in California, you know what I'm saying, to cut lights on. Get some solar panels in this motherfucker, you win. And get you a generator in the garage to where if these motherfuckers something go down, uh, check this out. If you don't cut this motherfucking generator on, it's gas in it. Cut that motherfucker on. We back on. Is the game back on? Yeah. You know what I mean? That type of shit, mama. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself in a position to where you can take care of yourself the rest of your life and you and your son will be comfortable, regardless to whatever to come to jump off. If You know what I'm saying? If, 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 if you don't never cut another motherfucking record or if that's not your destiny or if we see you on a cover of Cosmopolitan, you know what I'm saying? You you own some jet shit. You know what I'm saying? Is jet still going on or not? I don't know. But you know, whatever, whatever God takes you in your path, mama, right now, prepare for your future and start sowing some seeds for a later on harvest to be able to take care of you and your son. Regardless of where this go or this go or this go, you still got this on the back end of where you can go to shut your motherfucking dough. You understand what I'm saying? And you ain't got to work. Shut all this shit down and all this shit out, nigga. I'm going to my pad. Over here in Chino Hills, and that's my safe haven. That's where I can go lay my burdens down. 
Okay, I can get away from all this bullshit. I've been stockpiling this motherfucking money, building my little chateau over here. It's a little humble beginnings. It's a nice little pad. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to, I ain't got to worry about it. All this shit is paid off. Got an impound account to take care of the taxes and insurance and all that old type of motherfucking shit. You know what I mean? That's taking care of business, baby. Come get what you need when you need it. I'm here for you, mom, and I love you. I love you dearly. I really adore your spirit. Baby, you got, you, you know what? You ain't out here work, work, work. You know what I'm saying? You know, I like you, girl. I love you. You take care. Bye for now. Out.